All right, so hello and welcome. So in our previous video, we looked at how to create our panel. That's our add film panel. And also how to add that panel to our JFrame. We would have created an instance here of the add film and add it to the JFrame. All right, so in this session, we're gonna continue. We would have started adding the action listener um, to the buttons here. And um, now we're gonna go to the action perform. And this is where we determine what should happen when each button is clicked. All right, so we are going to start with the save button. What should happen when the save button is clicked? All right, so if we head over to DB, to our connect DB, we realize what exactly we want to happen. So whenever the button is clicked, what we want to do is to get the information from the form. That is, we want to get information from the film ID, for the film ID, for the film name, for the year. We want to get them from this and pass them to the insert data method. All right, so that is what we're going to do. So we're going to look at how we may get the data from the text field, the text fields, and then pass them to the insert data method so that it can be saved, all right? So let's get back here. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is that we are going to be um, creating some variables. The first variable is going to be the ID. And what the ID will do, it's gonna store the ID that is entered for the flim. All right, so ID will be storing the data that is entered for the flim. Now, in order to get the data that is entered for the flim ID, there's a special method called get text that will pull the data from the particular text field. So if I say flim ID that get text it will give me whatever data is entered. The only problem is that anything that is entered in the theme ID in a text field will be um, treated as a string or as a text by Java. So what we're gonna have to do, if we wanna store it as an integer, we're gonna have to um, convert that string into an integer. And so if I try to compile this now, it will indicate to me that there is a problem um, because, all right, so let's see why this is complaining. So it says string cannot be converted to int, right? So we are trying to put a string into an integer that can't work. So what we have to do is we'll have to convert this. So we're gonna simply convert the string by saying integer. So we're converting the string to int. So we can say integer that parse int, and we will put this in there. All right, so this will convert whatever is entered for the film ID into an integer, all right? Now there may be a need here. There's a need here for you to um, actually check for exceptions, but we won't get into that right now. Just want to, you to get the idea as to how the data is stored. All right, so um, the next thing that we need to get is the, the data from the film name text. So that's going to be stored into a string. So we'll call it f name is equal to that's flim name text that get text. All right, so there's no problem with this one because it is a string. All right, so it's okay to just pull the data from the text field, save it into a string. All right, the next one that we have is um, the year, which is going to be another int. So int year. Again, we're going to have to convert the year. So it's initially say flim year. All right, so the text from the flim year. I get text. All right. But again, this will generate an error because the text field stored information as a string 
So we're going to have to convert it to integer. So we'll just say integer that parse int. And that will convert it for us from string to int. All right. Now, having done that, it's time now to save the information. So it's very easy. First, we will do the same thing that we did around here. So we'll create an instance of the connect DB. All right. And that fact, I'll just copy it. All right. So we create an instance of the connect DB. And next, we're going to invoke the insert data. All right, so let me just copy both lines because it's pretty much the same thing that we're going to be doing. So here we create an instance of the connect DB called CDB equal to new connect DB. All right, so the instance is CDB. I'm going to use that to info the insert data method. Remember the insert data method? Um, it takes in three parameters and next it creates a query and execute it, which allows the data to be added. All right, the only difference is that we're not gonna be hard coding the data. So we're not gonna put in, we'll put in one here for the ID. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the ID that we'd have gotten from the user in the text field, which is stored now in ID. And it, we're not gonna hard code the name of the flame, but rather we're gonna put F name, which is the flim, the name that would be entered in the flim name text by the user. And we're not going to hard code the year. We're going to put year in there. All right. And that's it um, for the save. If we should run this now and test it, we should see the result. All right. So let's run the main. As our panel has been added to the main. All right, so here it is. So let's put in a flim ID, for example, 987, a flim name. This is the day. Let's say that's the name of the flim. Let's say the year is 1998. So, all right, so if we click save flame, no, nothing really happens. Uh, the reason for that is that we would have, let's check on it and see. Right. So we need to specify when this should actually happen. And we need to indicate that we want it to happen whenever the save button is clicked. All right, so let's check to see what we have here. All right. So it executed and it, the data is saved. However, we don't just want it to be to, to, to be done anytime an action is performed. For example, if we um if we try to if we click one of the other buttons, it's gonna try to do the same thing. So like if we see if we click clear it will do it. If we click close, it would save it. So any one of the actions, action buttons that we click once they have the listener on it, it's going to actually try to save the data. We don't want it to work like that. So we're going to indicate when it should actually save the data. All right, so to do so, we need to check to see which of the button is clicked. And we can know that based on E. So we're going to just use a simple if statement. So we're going to say, if e that get source is equal to the name of the button, in this case it's save, then that's the time we want this to be done. We don't want it to be done any other time. All right. So the only time the record will be saved is when the save one is quick. All right, so if we should run the program again, all right, get source of function. So remember to keep the function call on it. Let 
All right, so I'm just gonna show you. So if I put in another flame, let's say three blessings. year 2002 if i click clear or close nothing will be saved in the database so let's look nothing has changed good now if i click save all right note the name of the film blessings year 20 2002 all right so let's see so there it is all right so we can see from this that um, the save operation is tied to the save flame button. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is, for now we're just gonna fix the clear button. What should happen when clear is clicked? So I'm gonna say if e that gets source, see if I'll do clear. You just want to clear the text fields. So to clear the text fields, you just say flim ID that no, flim ID text. I'm gonna use the set text. The set the text to, to blank for each of them. I'm gonna say flim name. And the film year all right so we can test and see if it actually work now and if we comp recompile So let's type something here. If I click clear, there it goes. All right, so I'm not gonna work on the close button just yet, but we will pick up on that in our next session. In our next session, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna look quickly as to how we may go about organizing the data. So we're gonna just um, create perhaps two additional panels and use the layout manager feature to organize the data in a more structured way before you look at the other features all right so thank you and stay tuned